Hello and welcome to another video of the Path to DevOps series. I'm Shiki and today we will have a non-technical conversation. What I mainly plan is to talk about my career path so far and explain how I got to where I am today. And the reason I want to do this is twofold. First, I figure some of you might want to know this information. And second, I would like to present some credentials in front of you guys so that you understand it makes sense I'm hosting this technical series. Don't you worry, if you don't care about the non-technical mumbo jumbo and you couldn't care less about my career path so far, then just skip this video and head to one of the technical ones on this channel. But if you're interested, then thank you and let's hear the story. My IT career began in support, working for one of the big tech companies of today. And while it was an amazing job and I loved it, it was a great opportunity for someone like me. And I say someone like me because I don't have a technical degree as a background. I'm actually a transports engineer by formation. I didn't actually like support. So I kept working that job for approximately two years. And after some lateral movements in the company, which I didn't quite enjoy fully, I decided to leave and search for something or for greener pastures, as they say. So I started scouring LinkedIn for job applications and I found one which actually interested me a lot. And it contained this buzzword I've never heard of before, DevOps. I checked the job description and the required technologies and to my surprise there was one technology in the job description out of a total eight technologies which I knew. So I had my foot through the door and that made me extremely happy. I contacted them and set up the interview two weeks from that moment and in that two weeks I planned on learning more technologies from that list. So. I don't want to bullshit you guys and I wasn't able to learn seven technologies in two weeks, but I at least tried to understand what, what each technology was doing, what its purpose was and what the definition of that technology was. And with two of them, um, Azure pipelines and Docker containers, I actually got some hands-on experience by creating my own demo projects and working with them. So, that was it on the technical side, but I still felt like I wasn't doing enough to get the interview. Uh, so I started listening to the Phoenix project, uh, the audiobook. It's basically this book about DevOps and I, I was hoping it will pump me up for the big interview. Um, I got past the technical interview, fortunately, and I think it was due to the fact that I've proven in two weeks I was capable of understanding a little bit about um, the technologies in the job description more than my actual current skill because I, I was awarded a junior to mid level as a DevOps engineer and that's well that's where my journey started. Now having passed that technical interview I couldn't wait for the first day on the job and I got there I was taken on the floor to meet the team I met the developers I met the testers the project management team and I was so happy to be a part of the bigger picture and I was hoping I could show them all of my dedication and everyone was excited to meet me, um, basically telling me that they were waiting for me and I couldn't believe that, like, oh my god, you're waiting for me? Well, apparently not me specifically, they were waiting for a DevOps engineer for almost two to three months prior to my uh, coming to the project and that was the problem. Uh, apparently everything needed to be built uh, yesterday and I had almost zero hands-on experience and I wasn't an actual DevOps, right? I've been working two years in support and just joined the company. So that's where my grind started. Uh, I had to learn at the same time, I had to create everything for the team to be able to operate, the developers to run their code, right? So I was learning uh, on my free time sometimes, I was learning how to create pipelines, I was learning how to build infrastructure. Everything was done manually initially. And then uh, as iterations went by, I learned about scripting, I learned a bit of PowerShell, a bit of AZ CLI, I started automating most of the manual jobs then I even progressed more after six months to one year. I learned about infrastructure as code and applied Terraform. So it was a big iterative process. Uh, it was not like, hey, I just started and now I know what I'm doing. 
hell no. I had no idea what I was doing most of the time and I just banged my head against so many walls until I found solutions uh, that the project was actually successful. Um, so fast forward four years from that point, which is today, uh, I had a conversation with a friend who was actually going through a transition towards um, a DevOps role. Well, actually, that happened last year. And he was asking me what can he do to get through the transition and to start building a portfolio which is um, relevant to the DevOps environment uh, because he came from um, a testing background. So I tried and helped him to build that portfolio. And that's when the idea caught roots in my head that something like a DevOps guidebook could actually be useful for most of the people who want to transition into this space. And you don't actually find big, complete solutions. I mean, there's a lot of great tutorials out there. I don't want to slander anyone or throw mud in their direction. They're doing an amazing job, but it's mostly connecting either one to two technologies or very in-depth uh, tutorials concerning one technology. And that's where I think the problem lies is no one is telling you what a project actually means, what the development of an application um, it consists of and what the steps are afterwards. Uh, some DevOps engineers are only responsible of creating the pipelines or creating the infrastructure or something in between. Uh, my plan is to have a holistic overview on everything. So basically we will create the pipelines, we will create the infrastructure, we will write infrastructure as code, we will do scripts custom automation and all the good stuff together, all for you to get started with DevOps. If this sounds mighty fine, then hang around and let's go through this DevOps journey together. Before heading off, I want to mention two things. The first one is a huge thank you for you because if you've waited so long and watched the video so far, then yeah, you're a real one. I appreciate your support. And the second one is the fact that this whole thing will cost nothing, okay? These videos are not meant to lead you towards a pyramid scheme type of thing or towards a paid tutorial or like a program you need to buy in order to become a DevOps. It's just a series that I do as a hobby in my free time and which will hopefully be good for you. So thank you very much for hanging so long through the video and I wish you a good one. Cheers.